Blake Grasso here from the Film Photography Podcast. You know, I love to shoot film. I love it. And what I love more than shooting film in my somewhat modern age cameras, like my Canon AE-1 or my Canon T60 or my or Mamma Mia 6, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia 645. I love shooting vintage Kodak cameras, like the camera right here. It's the Kodak Brownie Flashmite 20 camera outfit. And what's wonderful about this camera is that it takes 620 roll film, which is almost identical to modern-day 120 roll film. Here's the outfit. This is awesome. When you buy vintage stuff, you get like vintage materials from, pe- from the previous owners. This camera used to belong to Mrs. Henry Hevener of Lincolnton, North Carolina. And here's the vintage film mailer that came with the camera that I purchased. This model camera, the same exact as the one here, this one's pre-tested, and I've been shooting with it. This was owned by my Aunt Linda. That's right, my Aunt Linda. This camera was manufactured in 1960. And I was told that my Aunt Linda brought this camera to the Beatles screening, you know, at a local movie house of A Hard Day's Night. That's right, folks. So she wasn't shooting the Beatles in concert. She was shooting the movie screen with her Kodak... Flash Mite 20 camera. This camera has a shutter speed of 1 40th of a second. It's a fixed shutter camera. You do have some focusing options here. By turning the knob here, you have four to six feet. It says it right on top there. You have groups, six to 12 feet away. And you have scenes, 12 feet to infinity. The camera has a built-in flash that takes the AG1 peanut bulbs. The cameras, you just open the bottom by hitting a lever here from lock to open. And you pull out the bottom part of the camera. And this is how you would load the camera. Right here you have the take-up spool, a 620 take-up spool. And I have a vintage, not-so-good roll of film from the 1960s. That I'm going to use just for the purpose of demonstrating. You would put the film in the camera, like so. It kind of snaps in. It's real easy peasy. You'll hear it snap in. Oop, look at that. You want to make sure that the, see it says here, film this side. Which means that when you're rolling your film, you want the film side to be facing the inside of the camera so this is this is actually correct you bring this around here up to the take up side of which you will put it into the take up spool like so oh that's it here's a little start arrow so that's good around there now I will put this together with the camera you see here's the camera lens here is the window and the it will shoot against the film the way it instructed. Put this together like so. Close the bottom of the camera. And then you will wind until you see, there's a little red window on the back of the camera. You will wind until you see a number one appear. Number one! Number one. Look at that. Number one, right in the window there. That means we're ready to shoot. I would put a little flash bulb, my little peanut bulb, into the bulb holder. And now I say our camera person, Joey K, is 6 to 12 feet away. Feet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot Joey K. One, two, three. Yes! Nice. Yes. I will have you know that, generally speaking, you don't need a battery to fire the camera, but you do need a battery to fire the flash. And that battery is right here in this top compartment. Right here. Look at that. Check that out. Two AA batteries. How how easy is that? And then you would just go to number two, just forward ahead to number two, and you'd be ready for your second exposure. This is a really fun, easy camera to use that yields excellent pictures. Let's take a look at some pictures that were shot with this very camera.
My name is Michael Rosso. I host the Film Photography Podcast. It's an internet radio show for people who love to shoot film at filmphotographypodcast.com. If you decide to get one of these cameras on ebay.com or maybe at a yard sale or maybe your Aunt Linda has one in her very house that you can go over and borrow or maybe she'll give it to you, you can get fresh 620 film right in our store, in our Film Photography Podcast store. You go to filmphotographypodcast.com, upper right-hand upper right hand corner, click the store button, and then you will see a large array of 620 film fresh that we have available on vintage 620 film cores, ready to go, ready to shoot. You can have amazing fun with this camera, and people will marvel when you go to your next family gathering or party with a vintage Kodak in your hands. Have fun shooting. This has been Mike Rosso, and I'll see you next time.